Rachel is back in the studio. I never left. You actually did leave for yeah. a while now. <laughs> <laughs> now it's great to have you back. Thanks. You know, what, uh, it feels like I never left. Yeah. And yeah. while you're gone, we announced that you're pregnant. No, you didn't. Without me? <laughs> we didn't publicly say it on the podcast, though. So You know, it's funny. We actually made a whole other podcast episode. And I said, ill. <laughs> we need to do this again. Yeah, we was, we was planning on doing it like uh, before. Like two months ago, three months ago? I don't know if it was three months ago. Maybe two months ago. You always have your timing wrong, so. I wanted to do it on the podcast. I thought it would be good. <laughs> And we just secretly put it out there. But we filmed the episode. Um, it was a great episode. No, it wasn't. I was angry. Yoda said it was like, yeah, Yoda, it was a good episode. Yeah, it was no. laughing. <laughs> the tension was strong. Yeah, she but was, I didn't want that to be like, I felt like the fans, the viewers, they didn't really know me yet. And I didn't want them to just see me as. I think it's because you didn't eat that day, too. I didn't want to share that I was pregnant and you were forcing me <laughs> to tell the world that I was pregnant and I was not ready. Well, it was just just to have. We could we should probably just post it anyway. It was no. funny. <laughs> it's not funny. People get really offended when their ports and was getting bullied. When what? <laughs> when you're getting bullied, all oh. the aunties start coming for me. Oh, me <laughs> Getting bullied by you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I thought you were talking about the baby. Because we're naming the baby Tumua. <sighs> boy no, or girl? It's, it's going to be Tumua if it's a boy. And if it's a girl, Tumua Lani. He must be having kids <laughs> with someone else. He must be having a baby with nah, someone else. No, I'm kidding. Else. Are we allowed to say the gender or no? No, we're not allowed. We're not. Are, do you believe in gender parties? A gender reveal parties? <laughs> No. Do you? No, you don't. You don't want to do one. No, it's like everything's so extra nowadays. Yeah, because back back in like back in the day, never have gender reveal. Only had baby shower, right? But now they yeah. get gender reveal, and now they get like. It's like, gosh, we're in a you know the economy is so junk. Like, but people still have all this money for all these extra parties, yeah, and events and all of this. It's like, come on. Back in the day, people used to wait till the baby comes out to mm -hmm. find out what the gender was. That's right. You know, That's and right. you know, I believe in privacy, um, and I just feel like I need to protect what's left of it, <laughs> especially for my babies, my kids, and my family. I'm very outgoing, and I don't mind sharing. Yeah. But there's some things that I want to keep to myself and treasure it and mm -hmm. keep it between us. Mm -hmm. So. Do we do we know the gender? I don't even know why I'm asking this because I know the answers. I'm just. I know your questions I'm like are just <laughs> wild. Um, I know. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. You never told me yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like we, you guys should guess what the gender. Yeah, is. Yeah. Guess guess what the gender is. Guess what the gender is. And you know, give us some uh, name suggestions. Obvious. Give us some name suggestions too. If it's a boy, yeah. give us your top three names. If it's a girl. Top three names for the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're not going to do no gender reveal party. Um, no. But people are getting creative in that, though. I, I see mean, one. Been. Like before, they normally do like the balloon, pop the balloon. Yeah. Blue confetti, pink Did you confetti. See the people doing like chicken fight? Chicken fighting. Yeah. That's <laughs> a new one in West Side. My friend, my friend did. He he went. Uh, it was in a he, in a truck, and he he burnt out or burned rubber. Burn Raba. <laughs> and the thing, does the smoke come out pink or blue? That's creative. Yeah. That was down here? Down here. I think it was in Waimanalo. I actually never heard of yeah. that. And i never seen and it. And they're like, e oh, it's a boy. <laughs> how, how? <laughs> e yeah. <laughs> yeah, i never seen that one. I I've seen um, some fighters, they would like punch the mitt and they would... the. On, it would explode pink or green mm. or pink or green what is green <laughs> pink or blue green <laughs> i don't know what green would be i pink. don't know i don't know green would be a nature baby a vegan baby <laughs> how do you want to how do you want to do, do the uh your birth there's i didn't know there's different ways to do it i just thought you go to the hospital and you give birth, but you telling me there's all different ways to do it, like the different yeah, positions. 
A lot of different want. methods. Of course, different positions. Yeah. Um, we could get into it, but I'm not going to like get deep into that. But um, basically, people can have water births at home and do water like births, more of a more of a holistic, natural type of. What birth. is what is a, a water birth? They get like a pool or a tub, and they fill it up, and they give birth in there. And have their baby in the water. Does the baby drown? The baby is not drowning. It's literally in your body in amniotic fluid in the placenta. So it... Yeah, but I understand that. Like the baby's in the water Obviously, now. you're not going to leave the baby in the water. But what if the baby comes out with like the first... Or he or she touches his air and then goes in the water. And he can't breathe. So you brought your baby out in the air and then you dropped it in the water. I don't know. Anything can happen when you, when you give birth. In the water, the water birth. And then the other type of births are <laughs> the ones that are like in the hospital that, you know, the traditional yeah. um, vaginal birth mm-hmm. and <laughs> C-section. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm scared to see it. Oh, you're scared. Oh, just, um, yeah. I mean, not scared, but I, I don't know what to expect. Should I do? When I had Ruby, it was... I had a horrible birth, a horrible pregnancy and a horrible labor. It was just horrible. And I've never been scared of anything besides giving birth. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it can't be that bad. Everybody does it, right? Can you not? It can't be that bad. You're like speaking on women's rights or women's. Well, I give women women's. props because, I mean, it, I heard it's painful, but everyone does it. So, oh, well, we're forced to. Yeah. There's no, there's no going back. Right. Once it's in, the only way it can go is Because um, my sister had nine kids, so I asked her. And she said after, like, the sixth kid, she'd never feel nothing. <laughs> <You're dumb. laughs> She's going to hate me for this. <laughs> no, but uh, I, according to her, she said it's, like, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, she I had know, nine so kids. Everyone's different. Some people have great pregnancies yeah. and they have no symptoms no morning sickness like god bless you like jesus chose you how but was it with ruby was it scale of one to ten? Ten being like extremely painful one being not painful at all like a 10 bro like an 11 it was a 10 like you're shooting a baby out of your vagina damn how would you feel if an orange came out your pee hole would that be like a one through ten for that you? That is not equivalent. Like I wouldn't even be able to read it. Yeah. Like it's so normal that people just like, oh, she just gave birth, but it's you're actually going through a traumatic yeah. experience. Well, you get like a uh, medication, right? What is it, epidural? If you want, so some people don't. And I've been thinking, do I need epidural? Like, I mean, I know I need epidural. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not one of those. Like, I'm pretty like healthy and like. Holistic mm-hmm. in ninety nine point nine percent of my like life, I try to be, but um, giving birth is not not where you know like yeah. I'll, I'll, you just want I'll get a, I'll get an epidural. Oh, you would you would get an epidural. I would get an epidural, but I've been re- researching more, and I'm like, man, I wonder if I could do it, but I really have nothing to prove. I just want I just want to be healthy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it can hurt you. If, if it only helps you. No, there's like stories where people live with back pain forever. From the because epidural. Because the epidural goes straight into your spine, the needle. Mm-hmm. And um, Oh, it's a needle shot. Oh, it's a huge needle. Like this big. Uh, you know, they actually kind of don't even show you. They try not to let you look at it. Yeah. Because it's scaring you. But they stick it into your spine. Ouch. Yeah. And did and yeah, they inject you with the epidural. I remember when I was giving birth to Ru- Ruro, I was they gave me like the button to like press whenever you're like feeling more pain, you just yeah. press the button and it'll it'll inject you more. You more. Oh, you yeah. took epidural with her? With Ruby, yeah. yes. Had to. Yes. Had to. I mean and I was very young, I didn't know that there was different options. And I feel like in the hospital they They kinda put you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. I honestly no, don't you know. you need to push. Your body needs to your body naturally pushes. Yeah. You know, so even that's the thing with epidural too. They said that 
you know, you it might be a little more, you, you know, painless, but because you can't feel from mm. like here down, which is a lie, I felt everything. I don't know if mine worked. I think they didn't get it in my spine correct. I don't know. But um, maybe it was just water it was putting in. But because, um, yeah, the epidural, what was I saying? Shoot, you just throw me off with your side comments. Maybe it was You're talking water about you never did. felt anything. No, before that. Uh, Shoot. I don't know, but I got a question. So, like, when a girl gives <laughs> Pregnancy birth. Pregnancy brain, sorry. She's, the legs is like this, right? But I heard that's not the healthiest way. The most yeah. natural is. On all fours, on all fours or a side. Yeah. Yeah, there's different ways, but. Right, which way are you going to do it? I'm going to do it whatever way I need to do it. <laughs> whatever I got to do <laughs> to get it done. Yeah, I'm praying for a healthy delivery and. Well, it makes sense. Like if you that. do it the other way because gravity, right? It just yeah. drops. Yeah, that's why they say like a lot of people like. There's a lot of those stories where they don't make it to the hospital and they're like standing or walking or trying to get somewhere and, it and like the thing literally just drops falls out, out and they hold them. Oh <sighs> gosh! I hope you don't give birth at home. I'm kind of nervous because we live so far from yeah. any hospital. I might have to have a water birth. Are Did, you ready for that? Should I go buy like a swimming pool? Well, we like have the, a tub, yeah. but yeah, swimming pool would be ideal. Swimming pool. Just in case, but I am I think you need to take some classes just in case. I, sh I want to. Dr. Timua. I want to. They just you ready? YouTube it or they have actual hands-on. I mean, I'm sure you could do either. Yeah. But I think you would be well trained in a class yeah. or a course. It can't, I mean can't be that hard right you just want to see the head pull the head no you never pull the head oh. <laughs> <laughs> the <frick>? what, do you, <laughs> what do you do then you just you want watch. this baby to be you like grab it by the shoulders you like guide it out oh okay it's mostly like protecting i don't know when i seen like videos of like births or like from the movies that the doctor the nurse just pulls it out so quick what movie did you watch no they don't pull the heads they like guide it. You gotta yeah. push. You literally gotta push your baby out. Mm. And then the it's hard, a lot the of scary work. part is the umbilical cord. If it's wrapped around the neck mm. and cutting off circulations, there's all type of things that could go wrong. And that's why personally, I wouldn't want to give birth at home because I'm not trying to chance all of that. Yeah. You know. But like to be honest, like it's just it's natural. Like animals, they give birth. They don't go to the hospital. They just give birth right there. And we're kind of like animals will just give birth yeah, anywhere. Yeah, but luckily like if, we're if not we an to. animal and we're presented with other options that are more and Technically, we're advanced mammals. But and that, you know, we're yeah. ahead of the game. Yeah, I mean, but I'm yeah, saying if worse comes to worse, yeah, yes. I'm sure it will naturally come out. I mean, yeah, it has to. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been kind of freaking out lately. Like late nights, just staying up because pregn pregnancy insomnia is real. Yeah, I'm like up all night, going to the restroom. Cause how much? What? What? How much months are you, or what trimester are you in? I know you don't want to give out too much information. I don't even want to say that either. Well, can we see your belly? <laughs> okay. It right now <laughs> Do looks you want like me to right now it looks up? like you're not even pregnant. That's why I know it's yeah. great. Yeah, because Trace, I'm sitting uh, up straight. Yeah. It's here. here. I think I have to turn to this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> the <laughs> they said. There is. There is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> okay, I did that out. But, um, yeah, this is the baby. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to tell you guys where I'm at. How are you I feeling? I don't even like telling people my due date. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Things could be better. How was the first Super tired. How was the first trimester? First trimester was... It was rough. The roughest. She was like throwing up every single day. All day. Yeah. I remember when we was driving from like an um, unhealthy amount. I needed Where IVs. were we driving at? We were driving from somewhere and you were just throwing up in the car and I had to pull over on the side and I put up to we were in Copley, put up into the shopping oh, by center McDonald's, by Chili's. Yeah. Had to grab napkins. Was, but it took a while because people were talking to me. I know. In McDonald's. It makes me angry. And she's over there. And I'm like, Oh, what's up guys? What? 
Like, take I know, one picture. it's so irritating. <laughs> like, so embarrassed. And then people are still asking for pictures. I'm like, can we live? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying here. But yeah, go take you guys' pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so freaking heroes. But, um... Yeah, thanks for the support. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, I still I still got the napkins and the water, and then cleaned it all up as best as I could. But yeah. I remember those days. That was bad. Yeah, no, I, that's like the worst part for me. Even with Ruby, I was like that, like the worst morning sickness. Like I can't even do anything. Yeah, it should be like twenty four seven sickness. I don't know why they call it morning sickness. I get it. 24 hours. Yeah, but once that there was a point where you stopped, and it was like thought i would never stop maybe around 16 weeks it was bad anyways yeah i'm a lot better now i'm just hella tired i can't remember the last time you threw up are you serious i just threw up in disneyland you did yes anyways oh yeah i think i remember that i'm i'm always feeling like i'm gonna throw yeah. up but i just threw up. But I'm just glad it's not like before where I had to get IVs mm -hmm. and I go to the hospital. And you've been you've been staying up late every night having insomnia. That's part of insomnia it. when you pee like tw twenty times a night. Yeah, and you're getting beat up from the inside, mm -hmm. like literally getting punched in my ribs, in my crotch <laughs> from the inside. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do. I just gotta take it. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 a great experience. Um so far so good it's all worth it it is yeah it is all worth it because yep because i actually want another one another child another one yeah we'll see how this goes see if the dad is good <laughs> see if i have enough help <laughs> if he's a good dad then maybe i'll have another one <laughs> yeah i think we should have another one right after get get him out get of him the way. out the way already we ain't getting any younger yeah i don't want to be an old mom right well how, how old are you <laughs> Wait, how old are you like 45 no yeah <laughs> i'm 28 how come you look older than me then <laughs> don't go there with the age okay <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah we we would just wanted to uh kind of talk about it on here um since everyone was kind of asking everyone a few questions asking everyone's been so nice when i posted my picture on instagram yeah so many congratulations in public. Everywhere we go, everyone's yelling, congrats, congrats. So overwhelming, to be honest. Um, that's why I told him, I was like, thank God I didn't say anything earlier. And I was trying to hide it for a long mm -hmm. time. Because <laughs> as much as I love everyone, I can't handle yeah. it. I'm not tall. Like, he is meant to be mr aloha <laughs> and go take pictures with him sure <laughs> but i am not always camera ready i'm not um sometimes i get like social anxiety and just like oh it's too much but at the same time i'm very grateful for the outpouring of love and support so yeah i'm all grateful Bitter, grateful for it too yeah I think I just I, I don't mind meeting with people. Yeah, he does not mind at taking all. Taking pictures. He, all if there's day. a lot of there's like a lot of people I would talk to every single one of them. Yeah. He's that guy. <laughs> he's so sweet. I mean, I don't know. I think you're just like it's not even about being sweet cuz I'm nice too, but it's just Well, I just I think like cuz my fans is like what brought me to where I am today. You know, if I didn't have yeah. their support of you course. guys watching. I agree. So I like to just give back to them by just but what like happens when like you have a family and you have kids and your fans are like, oh my gosh, can I see your kid? Can I kiss? Can I can I hold? Let I wouldn't let them kiss. But your them. fans are like everything. I know I wouldn't let them kiss them though. <laughs> There's like has There's, to be boundaries though. Yeah, there is. There's like boundaries. healthy boundaries. There's like, a way to play separating. it. There's a way to play it too. It's, just... I feel like it's in public sometimes. It's I don't know how we're gonna be with a baby. Yeah. Because uh, that changes a lot of things. Yeah. Like, it's okay when it's just, like, me and you. Yeah. But well, obviously, baby. protect protect the baby. You know, we don't want them hovering over the baby and stuff. Yeah, everyone means well. I know that. Yeah. But sometimes people are sick. <laughs> yeah, gotta... Yeah, it's just... You like never know. Just, yeah. What is that called? RSV? RSV, yeah. The babies get it. Yeah. It's so sad. But is that normal? <sighs> It's becoming more normal because there's more and more cases of it, but 
I mean, it's not unheard of. It's not unheard of. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at Ruby off camera. <laughs> She's watching us <laughs> and today. And what? <laughs> She's about to laugh. <laughs> <sighs> so how do you feel about being a dad? Oh, we have oh, a special guest. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> okay that was nobody that was uh just someone office office talk <laughs> this is what happens when i'm not here at your office no just well people... this building has a lot of um other companies in here too so oh yeah not other girls <laughs> <laughs> no. no what was the question you're asking me sorry I'll change the subject yeah what did you ask how how is it <laughs> <laughs> okay whoever that was mystery woman no, how do you know it was a woman I heard a <laughs> yeah. girl's voice. No, nah, it was just uh, it was just something about, about the building. So the building, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, I was asking, how do you feel being a dad, a daddy? I feel great. I mean, it's still. I mean, I guess it's getting more real as the date comes. Yeah. You know, like when I first found out you was pregnant, I was like excited, but like, oh, okay, yeah, like okay what's gonna happen now what's gonna change and nothing didn't happen other than you just just my body yeah and you just <laughs> getting more angry at me don't act like i'm an angry person <laughs> always trying to make a joke out of it but i'm not an angry person but I'm now like since very calm and chill now since like the baby's almost due soon now i'm starting to think like okay i gotta gotta catch up on this gotta catch up on sleep i gotta make sure the house is in Tapped. Yeah, I can say that you have stepped it up around the house. Yeah, I mean, we still got work to do. Yeah. But I don't have to tell you to take out the trash anymore. Oh, yeah. I got that down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's something that was flying here. I got that down for sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's certain, you got some better. You take out all the dogs every time to go shishi and doo Pick up their doo around the house now. Yeah. The, the dogs kind of helped me a lot, too. Yeah, they're like I had to train them with dogs first. They're a good stepping stone. Yeah, and then Ruby as well too. But Ruby's ten years old, so <laughs> I never, I never got to raise her when she was younger. So yeah, that's, it's different. That, I, I don't have that experience yet. But it's definitely put things into perspective. Like you've, I've seen you how you are with her, mm -hmm. and it makes me confident to know that you're going to be a good dad. Yeah. I'm excited. It's uh, I'm excited for all the new gadgets to have, like strollers. There is so much new gadgets, literally gadgets. The harness thing to hold. The harness. Getting ready with like the baby <laughs> bottles. Uh, I don't. I gotta. I, I probably have to do some research on changing diapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might want to do some research. Yeah. Or just trial and error. And it's gonna be <laughs> more new material too that I I can talk about it on stage, and gonna spoil them everything's new material to you yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> everything's just new material yeah yeah new material well just talking about my life that's why and that's gonna be like my highlight of my life right now my main my main focus you know so oh, yeah of course i'm gonna be talking about that yeah why not yeah but um baby shower is coming up yeah we got our baby shower coming up um i'm excited for that we can't say where it is we don't want people showing up <laughs> it's a the, small one it's a we small want the guests to show up yeah of course um but it's basically it's mainly my baby shower not yours yeah You're, he was trying to get his name on the, the invitation i was like no <laughs> it's not the tamua show <laughs> well, <laughs> it's some, for me <laughs> well some baby showers now it's like unisex yeah so they have male and female 2024 i cannot <laughs> but i like i like the traditional of just having all women at yeah. baby showers i mean if we could. That's too much already. Gender reveal, baby shower, first birthday party. Like, how much parties are you going to have for a child? I know, right? They're already expensive. Yeah. Ooh. I think yeah. I'm getting, like, a contraction right now. For real? Yeah, that was weird. Should we go to the hospital? No. <laughs> it's not that serious. But, oh. Does the breathing techniques really help? I always see it, like, in the movies, like... <sighs> <laughs> no. Or is that just a myth? I think it's supposed to be long breaths. Not <laughs> 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 oh, Rocky. <Yeah. laughs> Something like our Frenchies. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like deep breaths in 
and then push it out when you're exhaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll see. Are you excited? I'm excited to hold my baby. Like, I can't wait to see what this baby yeah. looks like and who looks well, we've like. Well, we've seen, we've seen, we've uh, seen. <laughs> I was leading to that. We've seen the ultrasound. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the baby looks great. It's funny because, like, Rachel, Rachel, would, Rachel, would, knows. Rachel would secretly insult me, but in a nice way. Like, she'll, <laughs> look, at, she'll look at the baby and be like, oh, thank God it doesn't have my have your eyes. I'm trying not to say the gender. Thank God it doesn't have <laughs> your mouth. Oh, thank God it has my nose. <laughs> like, oh, okay, geez. This, am no, I, I that bad? <laughs> you got to work on that one. You got to work on that bit. <laughs> yeah. Trying to make it into a bit. <laughs> you did say that, though. Yeah, but I like your eyes. I want to have your eyes. Dang it. I can't. I'm really sucking at this. You said it like four times. I know. Too. I can't stop. Uh, yeah, there's the thing about the baby. I <laughs> want the baby to have your eyes. I want the you want, baby. want to have my mouth. Um, your mouth can because you have a beautiful smile. Yeah. But just like my teeth. Oh. Yeah. You'd want the baby to have veneers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> needs. <laughs> oh, dang it. Needs. <laughs> <laughs> if needs. If the baby needs. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No. I keep, I mean, when we did the ultrasound, I. I was so confused because, like, we we're looking at the, the the TV and he's over there with the thing, like, you know, and you're like, oh, you see the you see the face? And then I can't see anything. I'm like, what are you guys looking at? Like, I can't see nothing. It just looks like <laughs> craters on the moon right now. Okay. So I was so confused at that, at the ultrasound. Yeah. I, I don't know what you guys are looking at because I couldn't see anything. I mean, we were pointing it out for you. Yeah. But, but like, later on when, when he took, like, the pictures of it and kind of. Then I could see it, but I, I don't know. Maybe you gotta get on that different. You're like challenged. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> can't help. I don't know what to say. Well, about what's up that. with all these all 3D ultrasounds that everyone talks about? How come we can't get one of those? We did get one of those, and you still couldn't tell. That was 3D. Yes. Maybe you gotta get 4D. Shoot, you might need like 8D. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta map them out for you. <laughs> She's done. No, but the baby does look like me. Only see. one picture. Yeah. Nah, yeah. There's a picture where the baby is sticking middle finger too. I don't know where that came from because I don't do that. I don't do that either. Maybe it's not your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a joke you do all the time on stage. Oh, 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 Trying to throw me under the bus. No, 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 no. I don't Sorry, do that. Sorry, giving out your material, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. But I can't wait. Can't wait for the baby to come out. Baby shower is gonna is coming up soon. That's gonna be exciting. Um, yeah, and we'll hopefully. I know you're gonna have a great pregnancy. So I can say this pregnancy has been a lot better than my first child. Yeah, and that is directly Less related stress. to the partner I chose. <laughs> <laughs> you're a lot more calm, collective, um, stable. And consistent. Thank you. For me. Yeah. And to handle my hormonal <laughs> mood swings and changes throughout this Would pregnancy. Would you say you've been having any cravings? Not really. I just want to eat healthy. Yeah. I crave eating healthy. Mm. I feel my best when I'm get, getting all my nutrients. And when I don't take my vitamins, I really feel it. Yeah. Because I, I need it. I found out. I went to the doctors and they did all these blood tests on me and they told me I'm anemic. Anemic. Yes. So basically red blood, RBC, the red blood count is low. So I'm getting less oxygen flowing throughout my body. I can tell you're like out of breath right now talking. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hard like sitting up straight like this. Yeah. Like I want to lay back like you, but then. I told you you should have sit here. It doesn't have nothing to do with where I sit. It's, it's this chair sit, is more down the and you I don't can kind of sit back like I this. can do that here too, but I don't want to look like how you look. Ugh. Belly out, all kind. I'm trying to match you. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. But um, yeah, so 
And this is gonna sound dumb. And there's literally no AC oh, up sorry. in here, huh? There's AC. This is gonna sound Gosh. dumb, but when you give birth, and you, your belly is like oh. the size of it is right now, and when you give birth, does the belly shrink? It stays like that. For some people, yeah, it looks like they're still pregnant. That's the scary part. Like if you compliment someone, like, "Oh, how many months are you?" and they just gave birth, that's like sad. How long does it stay like that? Because some people stay like that forever because they don't work out or eat good or. I thought it like deflates as soon as the baby comes out. No, no, that's like that's what you does would it, think. Does right? it do happen though? What? That's like as soon as the baby's out, your stomach gets smaller. I mean, for some people, I mean, it'll get a little smaller. Like, it yeah. won't be as hard. But your skin has stretched and all your organs and everything is, you know, moved. Mm -hmm. And it's been moved for nine months. So it's not going to just snap right back. Yeah. It's going to take time. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that. Like, especially on Instagram. You see all these Instagram influencer girls and the pressure to just snap back and... Like, how many times do you, have you seen that? Like, they're pregnant one day, and then they get birth, and, like, in a week, they're, like, already small. Like, you can't even believe anything on Instagram nowadays. They're Photoshopping and, I don't know, being unrealistic. Because 90% of females do not look like that. We're walking around in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> those pregnancy, those yeah. postpartum diapers. Looking crazy, breastfeeding where your chichi's out. You know, it's it's not the cutest sight, mm. but it's reality. <laughs> yeah, postpartum is real, yeah. Postpartum is tough. Yeah. So the whole journey of motherhood is... Interesting. Intense mm -hmm. and comes with lots of changes. And I understand why you have to have a really good partner and be married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, there's all these changes and got to make sure that person really loves you mm -hmm. and sticks around. So I hope you stick around. Oh, yeah. I'll stick around. I'm yeah. all for it. I'm yeah. all for the postpartum. I'm all for <laughs> anything I got to deal with. Uh, everybody's saying, oh, you're going to lose sleep. You're going to lose sleep. So, I mean, what's new, though? We're, yeah, we're we'll, already we'll, lose sleep. We'll see. I think we're What is like losing sleep? Fine. Like you don't even sleep two hours with the baby? I don't know. It depends on your baby. Ruby was really good. Yeah. I... You know, maybe like the first week or two. Oh, oh, that's why Ruby was really good. Ruby was really good because she was in the NICU. What is that? Uh, the intensive care unit mm. for uh, newborns. Oh. So she was in there for about two months. She was Dang. born with gastroschisis where the yeah. intestines and the organs are outside of the body when I gave birth. So it was a traumatic experience mm -hmm. all in itself. Um. But when the time I finally brought her home, I was she was trained already, so mm -hmm. she was pretty pretty easy to get on track with, and she slept through the whole night. Mm -hmm. And she has a really good baby, and I'm praying. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm praying um, our baby will be the same. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a light sleeper, so I'm like, thank God he's a light sleeper, because I'm the worst. I'll sleep through, yeah, a hurricane. Pretty light sleeper. And I can't wake up. It's oh, I don't, he's I such a light sleeper. I can't even check his phone. I just kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, I like to, any I don't any to. any noise I hear, I could just kind of like, oh, what was that? Yeah, like the littlest yeah. noise. I can't even sneak out of bed without him knowing. For real? Yes, you're like the worst. I can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like literally can't even go to the bathroom i'm just alert i just have good ears i mean that's good for a, for having a baby because i have bad eyes <laughs> yeah yeah that's probably why <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why the other senses get really heightened yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i can't wait for our baby to come out um can't wait for you guys to see the journey the process I'm probably gonna talk about it on uh, social media a lot. I know you don't want me to, but I don't. I don't want you to post the baby's face or anything like that. I just that. post the body. <laughs> <laughs> I'll out the face. Sounds weird. <laughs> Maybe just like the hand or the foot. You gotta be one That's of those that po weird. take pictures of the baby and put the emoji over the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
I see why people do that. You know, so much weirdos nowadays, baby stillers. It's just yeah. I will go full mama bear on somebody. <laughs> like I, I would kill you. If but you yeah, yeah, you gotta kids. protect your kid. You gotta. Yep, you gotta protect your family. Mm-hmm. Can't wait though. Pretty soon. But thank you guys. We just wanted to share this <laughs> moment with you all. I think the last thing I said was, "I will kill you." <laughs> You're like, "Well, thank you guys. We gotta wrap this up." <laughs> wrap it up for anything gets any any worse. Before we get canceled again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let us know what you think we should name the baby if it's a boy or a girl. I know Rachel kind of gave out the gender a little bit. No, we're um, just going to edit it. <laughs> or not. But uh, <laughs> let us know uh, some names. Give me your top three names. Can you maybe be Hawaiian names too? But we're not Hawaiian. Yeah. I don't know. I don't oh, know. I am Hawaiian because I'm Samoan. I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> but the just, baby. Just what, throw out some names. Because you're, you're it down. Yugoslavian. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get interest. Dang it. This baby will be an interesting mix. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. It will be. Can't uh, wait to see him slash her. <laughs> them. They're. They're. They. We'll let the baby decide the gender. <laughs> He's 18. <laughs> 18. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Might get canceled for that too. But uh, thank you guys for joining us on this episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at The Stand Up Life. You can follow me on Instagram at Tumua underscore. And for you. At Rachel Ostevich. Yeah. But thank you guys so much. This is the Stand Up Life. Tuning out. Aloha.